Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Shamira. if you are new to my channel. This video is gonna be a little bit different because I want to start sharing my meal planning. The title is gonna be Extreme Meal Planning because I feel like some people might think like this is to the extreme. I, I think it could be, but I feel like I have to do this in order to know that I'm saving the most money on groceries, especially with how high prices are these days. So this planner is the Happy Planner. I got mine at Michael's for those of you that are wondering. And I like to create my own meal planning sheets. So um, these sheets that I have in here and that you guys are going to be seeing is um, just something that I've created using the Pages app or the Numbers app on my phone. I will put those apps on the screen so you guys know which ones I'm talking about. I have an iPhone, so these are iOS apps. I'm not sure of which apps you would use if you have like an Android. So here are the two main sheets that I like to use when I am meal planning for the week. Um, even though you guys are seeing like this full, it looks like a monthly plan. I am not a monthly planner, absolutely not. That is where I draw the line. I am not about to plan my meals for the entire month. I'm a weekly planner, so I like to plan my meals throughout the week. And on Sunday is when I like to do this. I actually grocery shopped on Friday, so I don't need to um, do another order today. Um, right now, I'm just going to show you guys the process and what I do so that way I know I'm staying within budget. And you really don't know how well you are with spending your money until you get hit in the face and you see like, oh my gosh, I'm spending so much money on things that you didn't even realize. So last year, I just happened to take a look at my statement for one month and I was so shocked to see that I spent over $1,200 on just groceries. So right now I'm budgeting for $200 a week and that is for food and household items. So sometimes we may not need toilet paper, laundry, detergent, or things around the house. So I'm able to use $200 on groceries. And then some days I can only, or some weeks, I can only use $150 or $180 or $100 or maybe even $50. So whenever I have a certain number that I'm working with with groceries, I have to meal plan and figure everything out. So what I do first is I figure out what I am working with. So for this shopping list, I was working with $150. So now I know I have $150 budget for groceries. So now I'm going to figure out and write down all our essentials that we need for the week. And that is the first few items that you see here. So we always need milk, water, energy drinks, more water. Um, breakfast items, a couple snacks, and then um, my breakfast, and then our soda that we like to drink. So I will compare prices sometimes too. So on the left side was my giant food store prices, and then on the right side was Walmart, of course. For this um, order that I placed, I ended up going with Walmart because the prices were a lot cheaper, I noticed. So um, that is why you'll see prices on the opposite sides. So once I figured out our essentials, then I can go in and the rest of the money that I have is going to be on my meal planning. So for this meal, it was going to be steak tacos. This meal was baked CD and all the ingredients you guys see that um, I would need to buy. This one was a Chipotle chicken pasta from Cheesecake Factory. I found that online and I, my husband has been wanting me to make it. So I wrote down all the ingredients for that and then this one down here was a recipe I found on YouTube. It was like this chicken legs, golden potatoes with green beans on the side. I think it was like one of those one pan dishes. So I was like, okay, that looks easy. So I wrote down all the ingredients and the seasonings that I would need for that. Always check to see what seasonings you already have, what ingredients you already have in your pantry so you're not repurchasing things that you already have. So for this one, I only need to get these two seasonings, but all the other seasonings, like, you know, your basic salt, pepper, um, adobo and all that stuff you already have so you don't need to rebuy it. So this was four meals so far. Remember we're doing a 
weekly meal plan. So then on the back, I have um, some lunch options. And then I ended up doing pizza because I started to run out of money and I wasn't able to do the Chipotle chicken pasta this week, but that's okay because I was able to do it for another week. And um, this one, this meal here, I found on YouTube. It was this cheeseburger crunch wrap where you make burgers basically and you put them in tortillas. But I remember on the back, I also already bought tortillas, but I think these ones were street tacos, so they wouldn't have worked. But if you had meals that were you're able to use them multiple times throughout the week, definitely try that. And I have an example on this one too, but we just didn't get there yet. Okay, so then after that, I ha also have my, this one is a, um, a meal that I got on HelloFresh one time when we used to do HelloFresh and I kept all my recipes. It's super easy to make. It's this like um, crunchy chicken, buffalo something meal. And um, all I needed to get for it was the thin chicken breast from Walmart, a bag of broccoli, and then the shredded uh, Monterey Jack cheese because with this recipe, you also make mashed potatoes. But I didn't need to buy more potatoes because on the back side here, I had got a three pound bag of golden potatoes. So those potatoes I'm also going to use for another meal when I make that buffalo chicken broccoli meal and mashed potatoes. So I'm able to use those potatoes twice this week. And then I also have a dessert that I wanted to make. This one is kind of like a strawberry shortcake. So I got all the ingredients written for that. And then at the bottom here, I just needed one more meal and I was thinking like, where could I, um, or what could I make? So I picked up some pink beans and the rotisserie chicken seasoning. So I only needed to spend $5 and some change for this meal because I already had white rice in my pantry. And on the back, I had bought a four pound bag of chicken legs and I like to make my rotisserie chicken with chicken legs. So I know for this meal, I'm not gonna use the entire four pound bag. So I can use this bag of chicken for two meals this week as well. So this $4.68 bag of chicken is going to give me two meals this week and I'm able to save money that way. The first step was to figure out the money you're working with, then plan out your meals. If you start to run out of money, you might have to change your meals, which is what I did. You see, I don't have any prices here because I use this um, meal for a different week. And then um, I will write out the meals throughout the week. So, oops, I didn't mean to hit that. Um, this week was the meals that you guys just seen over here. We have the steak tacos, actually, no, the steak tacos was here, but I just redid them. So once I have the meals written out, I'll sometimes switch them around and I don't have them on each specific day. So I think on Monday, we might've had the steak tacos and I wanted to make this steak over potatoes and asparagus meal that I seen on TV, but I ended up not getting that one. So um, I wrote it, but I might use it for another week. I did get the chicken legs, potatoes, and green beans. I did get the meal for the baked CD. I did get the cheeseburger tortillas, and then I did get the buffalo crusted chicken mashed potatoes and broccoli and pizza. So um, this would be the weekly meal plan for dinner. And then on the back of this sheet, I actually have a breakdown of all our breakfast, lunch, and snacks. So um, I do not buy everything that you see here that is written. These are just ideas for me um, for throughout the week in case, you know, one of my kids, they might be low on their breakfast items because my kids are picky. They all want their own specific breakfast. They don't all eat the same thing and they don't even eat breakfast at school. My kids eat breakfast at home. I wish they would eat breakfast at school because then that's less mess. That's, you know, dirty dishes that are being made in the kitchen in the morning, but they eat breakfast here and I have to make sure that they all get what they want. Also my husband, before he goes to work, um, I like to have his breakfast so that way he can grab it and go. And then I need breakfast, of course. My um, 18 month old, he needs breakfast. So these are just some ideas for our breakfast and then ideas for lunches. 
Um, you see I have a question mark for weekends because sometimes I really don't know what we're gonna have on the weekend. And then I have some options for snacks and our basic drinks that we need. So um, this sheet helps me write down information for our basics over here. So that's where you see where it says cheese danish, cocoa pebbles, and our sodas and milk and water and all that. So this sheet here is where I got what I needed to get my basics. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I try to have this done as quickly as possible, but if I'm looking for new recipes, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes this can take me uh, a couple to maybe a few hours. If I'm looking for recipes online, if I'm then on my app, trying to compare prices between the two stores that I use, writing down the prices and then adding everything up and then putting my order in and then going to pick it up, which I absolutely love the fact that I don't have to actually go in and shop because I probably would give up if I had to um, then go in the store with this list and shop everything myself. I probably would break down, but <laughs> I love the fact that I can do order pickup and um, it just makes my life so much easier. So yeah, that's it for my extreme meal planning. Let me know in the comments if you guys meal plan, do you do it to this extent? Or do you just, you know, grab an envelope and write down things on the back of it? Or do you not even meal plan at all? You just go in the grocery store and fill the cart up. Oh my gosh, that would give me so much anxiety. I've, I've done that before. And I would look at my cart and just think like, oh my gosh, how did I even get here? And I would want to leave the cart and just start over the next day because it's just so overwhelming when you go in the grocery store, especially if you go in with kids and they want everything. It's just, I love grocery order pickup. And I feel like when you just throw things in the cart, you're not really planning anything out and then you get home and you'll probably order something out to eat because you're just like okay what are we going to eat we just went grocery shopping and what what, are, what am I going to make so I have to meal plan it just it just makes my life so much easier and it eliminates the uh you know the urge to want to eat out and and have fast food which costs money so I hope this video was helpful. I might do these videos on Sundays because I feel like that's when everybody's, you know, getting ready for the week. So I hope it was helpful. Again, I got this planner from the Happy Planner. I purchased mine at Michael's. This was their 2024 planner. And these sheets I made myself. Um, and then I used the Happy Planner hole puncher. I'll show you. This I got from Michael's as well during the, what is it called? The Black Friday sale, I think. So it was actually like 50 or 60% off because it is around $40, I think. So yes, I will print out my uh, meal plan sheets and then hole punch and then put them right in my planner. So yeah, I also budget my, um, you know, my finances and everything in this planner as well. I will show you guys March um, because I like to track my expenses and this is how I know where my money is going. So I will write down every single expense that I have and make sure I'm staying within budget. This is also another sheet that I created. I'm not sure if I'm going to share this part in the video because um, I really don't want to have all our finances, you know, on the internet, but I do also um, budget in this planner as well, and um, I like it. So, yeah. That is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.